Yo, what up, team? Just uh, just finished mowing my paddock. She's bloody scorcher here today. She's pretty hot. Um, had some shit weather over the last few days, but this video is about a synchronizing program on our heifers. So the reason we're going to be doing a synchronizing program on our heifers, guys, is because over the next two to three years, we want to go from 400, milking 470 cows on our dairy platform, um, hopefully to uh, milking 550 cows on our dairy platform. So we're going to have to increase our cow numbers by about 80 cows. That means that obviously those animals are going to have to come from somewhere. And uh, with the Microplasma bovis scare at the moment, um, we don't really want to be bringing animals into the farm that may be contaminated. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to rear more heifer replacements. At the moment, we're currently rearing as many heifer replacements as we can. Um, so each year we're getting about 120 heifer replacements. Um, but if we're going to increase that number by 40 every year over the next two years, those heifers are going to have to come from somewhere. So what we're going to be doing is AIing or artificially inseminating our R2s or our heifers. So our heifers are the animals that are coming into the herd. They're only two years old. Um, so it's going to be their first calves, but they are the highest BW, PW animals um, on our farm. So they've got the best genetics, so why not breed from them? So the reason we're running a synchronizing program on our heifers is so that we can get as many cows in calf um, to AI in one day um, because our yards at, and our facilities at our runoff don't allow us to bring those cows in every day uh, and identify the cycling cows um, and our facilities that are at our runoff aren't equipped uh, to bring those cows in every day. So we're going to do a synchronizing program. Jesus, I feel like I'm hiding behind my glasses. Anyway, it means that Pretty much we're going to use hormones to hold hold back the cows from cycling. These nine days, uh, we're going to give them another hormone and pretty much all of those cows are going to cycle all at once. And we're going to eat them straight away and hopefully um, those cows conceive um, to the artificial insemination. And then next year, um, we will be able to hopefully rear an extra 40 here for replacement. So we're hoping that if we put up 100 animals to artificial insemination, hopefully we get about 70 of them. So 70 of them hopefully get in calf uh, to artificial insemination um, and then we can rear so half of those, say half of those uh, for heifer replacements next season um, and then hopefully we'll slowly build our herd up to our 550 cows like that. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to shut up now, talk you guys through this video, that's a wrap. And we're off like a bullet, day zero of the heifer synchronizing program. We've just brought the girls into our lane, fresh from some pasture. So we will be inserting these weird things. These are called Q-mates. They're a T-shaped object that release a hormone called PG. So they need to be loaded inside these green applicators here. Today would be awesome there, love. So we're just going to uh, insert these inside the cow's vagina. And they're going to open up inside, forming a T-shaped object so that they do not come out. The T-shaped object works like a boat anchor. So, the little blue thing there, what's that? Looks like a bit of a car aerial. And it works exactly the same as a string on a tampon. So you just pull that blue thing to uh, pull these things out. And I'm just going to be jabbing this cow with some GnRH, which is, which is another hormone. This ensures there are no hormonal imbalances from the Q-mates that we inserted, which release prostaglandin, or PG. Google it if you want to know more. So after trying to insert a Q-mate into this heifer here, we've found out that she's a free martin. What the hell is a free martin? Well, a free martin is the normal outcome of mixed sex twins. So pretty much she's an infertile twin from birth. She should have gone on the bobby truck. And we've got a bit of product placement here. NZ Graziers are looking after our heifers. So we're just bringing this girl in. So all of our girls go over the weigh scales every month to track their weight gain. As these cows are on weight gain contracts. So we're up to day 7. Day 7, 168 hours after we've inserted the Q-mates. And we're just bringing the girls up into the lane again. This time we are giving them a jab of PG, so a prostaglandin jab, and we're going to be ripping that T-shaped object out like the string on a tampon, and... What are you doing here? Just having a check if this girl lost her cedar, or she done with it, but I can't feel it anymore, so she must have... Oh, you're just making sure it's not in there still? Yep, yep, yep. Oh. Because it can curl. Swallow them up? Yep, swallow them up and go turn around, and no, nope, but it's not there anymore, so 
Well, still got a jabber with PG. Beauty. Oh, far out. What do we got here? That's called riding. So, guys, if you've ever been in a car before and it's the first time you've driven a manual, that's what you do to the clutch. You ride the bastard. So these girls here have been out in the paddock rooting and scooting. This girl here looks like she's got a bit of carpet burn. Don't know if you've had sex on your in-law's carpet before, but that's what it looks like. So it's awesome to see our Q mates have been working a treat. We're going to be rocking straight on into day nine. So 48 hours after we pulled the Q mates and gave our cows a PG shot, it's time for the real deal. We're going to be inserting some semen into these girls, so hopefully they can get up the duff. So we're just going to load the girls up into the head crush. We've got our old mate over there trying to get the cow numbers. Pass it on to the old old mate. Uh, she's going to enter it into her data mate system to see what sort of bull we're going to be inseminating these heifers with. So she's just pulled out some semen straight out of her duffel bag, shaking out the little air bubble at the end of that little straw there. And as you can see, we've got a bit of crossbreed there. So these are going to be getting inseminated with a bit of crossbreed, but a Pakeha mixed with a little bit of mouldy. There it is. So we just inserted the, the straw. And she's just cleaning her scissors there. It's all about hygiene when it comes to sexual seduction. So she's just going to put her plastic sheath over the top of that straw and lock that bugger in. Like that. And she's just priming the semen. So we're going to pass this straight on over. As you can see, she's just guarding the sun from killing any semen. Open this gate up, let old, old mate in there. She's just going to be inserting her left hand inside the cow's bum. So she's just reaching in there. She's going to grab the cervix and wipe the vagina. Old mate's going to pass the straw over to old, 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 old mate. And we are just going to feed that straw through the cervix. And... Ah! That's all she wrote, really. Job done. Semen inside the vagina, and hopefully that cow will conceive, give her her last jab of GnRH, and we're going to send this girl out to the paddock. So 24 hours after insemination, we're going to introduce the heifers to the bulls. As you can see here, this guy's pretty horny, ready to go. There's the sacks on the bugger. There it is. And... Hopefully these girls conceive to artificial insemination, but if they don't, at least we've got the bull power there to knock these girls up if we didn't. But anyway guys, that's a wrap. That's our synchronizing program on our heifers. There's going to be a shitload of videos coming up um, regarding mating and mating management on my farm only. Everyone's got a different way of doing things, so this is what's worked well for me over the last 10 years. And just for you, you farmers out there who are currently farmers, if you've lasted this long through this video it's a pretty long bloody video um cheers but if you guys really want to invest in the industry actually take this educational video take our educational page i'm getting a lot of videos made guys and it's taking a shitload of time um i really am going out of my way to get professionals in to talk on these videos guys and um get advice from them so if you guys want to invest in the future generation you guys really need to go over to this this page called farm for life all right share our page comment on our page and if you guys have any videos that you'd like me to talk about or um, or have any technology that can help the industry um, anything any points that you might want, want me to talk about um, please private message me and i'll try and get a video done in my spare time but anyway that's me guys from farm for life cheers for viewing share this page peace eyebrows, eyebrows goody like that, yeah. and then just do your yeah. You look good, are you ready now? Alright? Yeah. You alright? Yeah. Lights, camera, action.